Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be doing something a bit different. Today I'm going to be answering your guys' questions on my previous video. If you're new to this channel, obviously first of all, click that subscribe button. You don't want to miss any upload that I do. And second of all, and my previous video was basically how to live stream with super bad upload speed. My upload speed was 0.85 which is really low. But you guys had a few questions about the Streamlabs OBS program. And that's why I'll be doing this video where I'll show you guys how to actually use it and basically answer all of your questions. But before you get into today's video, be sure to leave a like rating on today's video. If you can hit 25 likes on today's video, that would be absolutely awesome. I know you guys can do it. I know you can guys hit 25 likes on today's video. If you can do it, it'll be absolutely awesome and it will make my day even better. Anyways, guys. Let's get right into the questions. All right, the first question came from XO Unicorn Gamer Girl XO, which basically says, "Can you do a video on how to basically have the sub notifications and put the pop-ups and the alerts like show up on the stream?" And yes, I can absolutely show you how to do that. All right, so after opening up OB Streamlabs OBS, basically, if you don't have this program, you can just install it by clicking on the link in the description, or simply by just clicking the code on the top right corner of the screen, if YouTube allows it. Anyways, the question was how to add alerts on your stream, basically, and all you have to do is basically select which scene you're doing, basically. Um, go ahead, I'm gonna select my main, obviously, and by the way, we're, we're on 1056 subscribers. I just want to thank every single one of you guys. That is absolutely awesome. Thank you guys so much for the support. Anyways, as I said, select your scene and come to sources and basically click this plus button right here. All you have to do is do that and this little window should actually pop up. Anyways, you just select this widget bot and um, you just go with alerts. That's literally all you have to do. Go press alert. And basically the alert box is basically going to be showing the donation, the subscriptions, the followers, the bits. Basically all the donations, all the subscribers, all the new follows, everything will be shown in the alert box. All you have to do then is just press add and go add a new source. You can change the size of the alert box. I'm not going to do that. All I have to do now is press done. And I can like choose where to put it. Hold on. Select this. And basically choose where exactly the alert will pop up. I'm gonna put it right here. And all I have to do now to test the widget is basically go to this button right here and click test widgets. And as you can see I can go with subscription basically there. And a subscription as you can see. Foxy officials just subscribed. Boom. Um, I can also like test the donations as you could see John donated twenty dollars thank you John so much <laughs> and yeah that's basically it I can even do the followers if you stream on Twitch and that is how to actually add the subscriber the new subscribers and the new donations and the new followers alert box on Streamlabs OBS and the next question came from the underdog and in this question he typed game capture or window capture and he basically had an issue like choosing which like he wants to record games but he keeps like getting stuck or something so all I have to do now is basically just show you how to add a game. Alright so say I have um hold on let me open up a random game. Okay so this is my game basically this is my game as you can see all I have to do is like make sure the game is opened obviously. And all I have to do now is go to my Streamlabs OBS, go to my main, basically, go to sources and press this plus button right here and go with game capture, basically, and press add source. I'm going to call this Minecraft. I never play Minecraft, by the way, do not judge me. Also, now all, all I have to do is go to capture a specific window, like go to mode, capture a specific window. Select a window basically and all I have to do now is find the window that is open and as you can see all I have to do is select the window this is my Minecraft window right there I just selected it and as you can see if I go ahead and disable my display capture basically um, this window should actually pop up if the window is really small one thing one trick you can do is basically go to your 
game capture basically right click it and go to transform and basically click on stretch to screen and as you could see it will fit the screen and boom as you could see this is my game capture right here as you could see um this is it basically if i press play it will start playing as you could see i'm just moving it around um yeah as you could see everything is displayed and yeah obviously it's glitching out because it's not an actual game that was an actual that wasn't an actual game that was just a program but yeah this is literally the same idea you just go ahead and uh, go to your sources press plus and go to game capture basically press add source after that you just type in the name of the game press an add source you just select like capture a specific window this is really important just go with mode capture a specific window and basically you just capture your window and like go ahead capture a specific window and select whatever you, window you want this is my Spotify window and that's basically all I have to do I'm gonna cancel that obviously because I already have two of them I'm gonna delete them okay and that's basically how to add, let me just put my screen back. And that's basically how to add game capture to your live stream. But anyways guys, this will wrap it up for today's video. If this video helped you in any way possible, then be sure to leave a like rating. To subscribe if you're new here. I upload two videos every single week. And also I'm on my way to 1100 subscribers and all help would be appreciated. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.